Hello my friends, thank you so very much for checking out my channel today, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to just go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to be taking a look at Transformers Earthrise Runamug, one of my favorite se uh, characters from Season 3 from Generation 1. So let's see if he'll uh, make Earthrise on uh, December 31st once we see that. But as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. You got Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy, Transformers, uh, Transformers Generation. These are typical... Earthrise packaging and you can see Runamuck right there. He blew something up and he's running away from it You got deluxe class and, and you got deluxe class and a bunch of other languages that you can read on your own time Out of the box just a bunch of horseshit copyright notice all that crap in the UPC code And on this side of the box you got your really cool picture artwork from the show there You can see Unicron, the Nemesis, the Ark, Meg's back there and the Quintesson All the characters from the show are pretty much there. I think Galvatron's in there too, I think but, anyways, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the uh, top of the packaging. You just got the Decepticon insignia faded right there. Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. And, on the back of the box, you got your just your product shot of Runamuck. He just comes with the gun. And then you see Runamuck right there. Not sure why they have all the Cybertronian language there. I don't know if you're supposed to type it into the website for spoilers and that like they did with Magnus. But And, you just got your... just Basic blah 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 nonsense. More copyright horseshit. And that's basically it for the packaging. And there he's there he is, run amok. Really really cool how Hasbro is able to redo this. Here's the front side of him. Here's on another side. Back. Typical car like you looked at G1. And here's the bottom of it. This is basically his body right here. And top side again. And now for comparison. Here he is with Jackie. See how they look up over there. And Prowl. See how they look too. Really, really cool. Well done. Alright. Now that that's done. Let's go ahead and get into his robot mode, shall we? Alright, so what you're going to want to do. Is come down here where his legs are. Pull them out. Bring them out. Just be a little careful with it. You don't want to break it. And bend his feet out. Come over here. This is where the hubcap is. And just lightly... Lightly juke it back a little bit. And you will have issues with these wheels. When I first got it, one of the wheels came off and it was being a little difficult. But now it's, now it's alright. But just, yeah, bring, bring this back down. And come up to here where his arms are. Just bring them up. Up and out. Come to here where his chest plate is at. Pull that out to reveal his head. Pull his head out. Can be a little, a little tricky. And collapse that back in. Come over here to where his hands are. And pull his hands out. There's his fist there. Same with the other one. Pull that out. Bring it out, turn it around. Here's where his legs are at again. And basically what you're going to want to do with his legs is flip it over. You'll stop being difficult with me. Flip his legs over and just collapse everything into place. And yep. And here is Runamuck in his robot mode. Yeah, as you see, pretty cool. He's got the purple eyes, Decepticon insignia there. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool figurine. Hasbro is knocking it out of the ballpark with the Siege line. In my mind, I don't think there is a bad Siege toy out there. Uh, there's a few I didn't care for, like Ironworks and Brunt. That's why I'm giving those two, uh, excuse me, why I'm giving Brunt away for uh, December. So I'd like to pick a lucky winner for that. And I'll give that away uh, after, uh, once January starts, I'll give that away for December. So the thing will stand right. Now, for articulation-wise, 
his arms can move. They're a little stiff, but they can't move. They can't move back and forth, and they can't bend at the at the uh, elbow there. They're just a little stiff for some reason. And his head is on a ball joint. Can't do full 360. The head is stiff too. I don't understand why this part of the body is so stiff. And his legs can't do the splits. Do we stand? And he does come with this gun. That's all he comes with. He just comes with a gun. Or the pew pew bang bang. I don't know if he's douche compatible with jet fire, as Emgo likes to say. But. Alrighty, now for comparison. And for comparison, here he is with Wheeljack. See how they stand up together? They're pretty much the same side. They're, they're both duplex classes. And Siege Prowl. They're again the same size. And up next is episode buddy, Starscream. As we all know, Generation 1, he took the him and Runabout out when he was uh, trying to get his new body back. So Season 3 was pretty good. I did like the characters a little bit better because I'm a big fan of uh, Ultra Magnus and Six Shot. So, yeah, that pretty much concludes it for this episode today for Siege Runabout. And yeah, I'm Siege Runabout, excuse me. Please definitely join me later this week as we'll be reviewing Studio Series 54 Megatron. And I'd like to bring you some other content as well for next week. Um, I want to start reviewing some of the Power Rangers Legacy stuff that I have too because I also bought the, uh, the Power Rangers Legacy uh, Mighty Morphin Morpher, so I definitely definitely like to try and showcase that with you guys next week. So yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And thanks so very much for watching this review, and have a lovely COVID-free day. Thank you.